Melody. <laughs> I am the official intern of Chino Farms and I took this internship because I love outdoor works and I recently discovered a passion for birding and in this internship I get to work with birds and handle them as well as do the sort of research and orient stuff like data entry and making graphs and things like that. So get field work and research work, it's great. spring migration um, seven months of the year and in the summer months we work in the restored grasslands working with a color marked population of grasshopper sparrows and dick thistles and we're studying long-term population demographics and territory sizes and we do things like look for nests and we have other miscellaneous things we do around the farm we started doing some owl banding this past year and we monitor and run a bluebird box trail help out with uncontrolled burns and other things that come up. My main duties are working at the migration banding station. After we get them from our nets, we bring them back to the banding lab. And the different birds all take different band sizes depending on how fat their legs are. So each band has a unique number that no other band has and all of the information we record on the birds, get sent into the Federal Bird Banding Laboratory and they keep a giant database of all the birds and all the band numbers. And so if someone else finds this bird, they can turn the number into the banding lab and they can look it up and see where it was banded and how it So now, and Melody has the band number, right? So it's just four, four seven, seven, three is the end. And then we measure the wing, the wing ruler. And I'm gonna check for fat which we use to see whether birds maybe are coming or going in general fitness. Aging the birds, we look at feather wear, but this is a second year bird, which means it hatched last summer. You can sex them based on plumage, and so this bird has a little bit of orangey yellow in the head and on the rump, so we know it's a male. And then we'll weigh him. This location since 1998, so that makes us our 11th year here. And we've banded approximately 125,000 birds here at this location. The map on the wall with all the red dots is where some of our birds have been found that we've banded here in other places, or they've been banded in that spot and we've caught them here. So the furthest we've had was a young osprey that we banded here in July and was killed by a hunter in Trinidad. But you can see too the pattern of like where most of the recaptures are because the East Coast flyway, most of those birds move up and down the coast. 